Hi, I'm Colin, and today I'm going to show you how to install a stepping stone walkway using large surface stones. Step one for any project is going to be design. For a stepping stone project, drawing a rough print can be pretty simple, can give you a good calculation for materials and stuff like that. But the main part, the component you need out of the design process is going to be the dimensions of the material itself. So for this particular project, the homeowner chose our La Lostra 18 by 24 and the Jamestown blend. Now the difference between stepping stones and a typical paving stone walkway where they're modular units is that these ones aren't going to technically require edge restraint or a bedding material. All we're going to have to do for this thing is dig out and excavate and put in four inches of compacted gravel and then lay these stones on top. Step two is layout. What we're going to do is we're going to take some white marking paint and based off a rough drawing we have and just kind of the natural area of this driveway here, we're going to mark two lines and we're going to go 24 inches, which is the width of the stone, and add four inches to each side to make a total of 32 inches. The specific area here, the driveway, has a little bit of a straight edge with an angle and then a curve. So if we give us ourselves an extra four inches on each side, it'll give us some leeway when we're putting our gravel base in to where we can make things look nice and smooth and transitional. We've marked out all the lines for our walkway, so now we can move on to step three, which is excavate. It, the excavation process is gonna be a lot easier for stepping stones than it is for a typical paving stone walkway. It's typically gonna be a little shallower because you don't have any bedding material, and the specific paving stones we're using today are a little bit thinner as well. We're gonna be digging down six inches below this concrete, which is where we want the top of our stones to be at the end of the project. That's gonna accommodate four inches of compacted gravel and then our two inch stepping stone. Once you've done excavating, you can move on to the next step. We've excavated for our six inches, so now we can move on to step four, which is gravel base. We're gonna be putting in four inches of compacted three-quarter minus, and since we're using the concrete as our reference point, we just want to bring it up to about two inches below that concrete to accommodate the two inch paver that we're going to set in there after we're all done with the base. compacted our gravel base and we've added an additional inch of gravel as a fluff layer so that we can set our stones in it and give us a little bit of play to make everything nice and flush with our concrete. We're starting here up against the entrance because we wanted it straight with our concrete. After that we'll make sure we space everything with a 2x4 for both the stones and up against the concrete for the driveway. We're just going to set these flush with the concrete using a level. Um, it doesn't have to be level, just flat. Just set it with your concrete and then just tap it where it needs to be. And again, that'll be our reference throughout all of these stepping stones with our driveway to make everything look nice and consistent. After laying and setting all of your stepping stones, the last thing you have to do is find some sort of a filling material. You can use bark dust, maybe some round rock, or you could even tamp in some dirt in there and plant some grass seed. No matter what you use, you're left with a nice functional walkway. 